Let's just do this. Back. Out of every celebrity we'll cover in this video. Oh yeah, no, um, celebrities who turn their life around. Um, I don't know who did the video. Uh, you can just type it on Google and find Sony V. I think it is the Sony V3 girl. Yo, so there are a few who fixed their life like Robert Downey Jr. Between 1996 okay. and 2001, he was arrested on six separate occasions for some crazy different reasons. By this point, he'd already been a famous actor for roughly 10 years. I don't want to say this. I don't want to. I can't help myself to say this. But it's based on times, right? The Marvel Universe was just starting, so they could risk using Robert Downey Jr. But now that the Marvel Universe is established, someone like um, this guy, just, Jonathan Majors, I just went to this minor controversy, cannot be. They have to drop him because this is two, the 2000s and 2020s. Different time period also. Even though they are not that long, but a lot has happened, like, <laughs> monumentally to change the whole landscape political tolerance council culture the meeting so many things have happened to get to the extent that if it was then Jonathan Majors could have skated but now he just Though this didn't stop a yeah. judge from giving him three years in prison. Upon release, he managed to land a single TV show role, which he was then fired from after police arrested him again, this time for walking Whoa. around LA under the influence without any shoes on. Given this also resulted in Robert Downey Jr.'s divorce, it's no surprise he'd state it was my lowest point in terms of addictions. At that stage, I didn't care whether or not I ever acted again, although thankfully this <laughs> didn't happen. He'd appear on Oprah stating, I You know what, I don't think I can continue doing this and I reached out for help and I, and I ran with it it's not that difficult to overcome these seemingly ghastly uh, problems what's hard is to decide although with his reputation in the dumps the only role he could land was in an Elton John music video and when he did return to the big screen a full two years later producers withheld 40% of Robert Downey Jr's income yeah. to ensure he wouldn't relapse That's midway fair. through filming That's only fair. seven years after being released from prison Robert Downey Jr was cast as Tony Stark in Iron Iron Man, which grossed and almost $600 million dollars at the box office and paved his way for another seven Marvel movies, although Samuel L. Jackson's turnaround might be even cooler. He'd met oh, his alcoholic father only two times in his life, and having grown up in a broken home, it's no surprise that Samuel L. Jackson became an alcoholic himself. In his early 20s, Whoa. he was booted from two plays on Broadway for his substance abuse problems, and by his early 40s, he was still an unknown actor with no money and a heroin oh, yeah, problem. Jackson finally attended That's rehab. Crazy. Sorry, I want to. I think someone should do a video about many of all these people that became popular later in life that didn't start off like um, Chuck Norris, um, him, Samuel Jackson, Chuck Norris, the guy that did um, Indiana Jones. I can't remember his name. I think he became popular later in life. There are so many of them that became popular. They didn't become popular early in the 20s, they became popular late 30s, early 40s, and whatnot. That's when they became the movie star. The age of 43, they got and amazingly, only one week after doing so, he'd star in a movie called Jungle Fever, which just well, so happened us. to be his major breakout role. Once I got clean, everything kind of changed. The correlation between my <laughs> career changing and me getting straight is very clear. Just right. a couple of years after Bravo. getting clean, Samuel L. Jackson starred in Jurassic Park Star Wars and Star Pulp Trek Fiction, too, right? which then so turned Star into Wars, another six Tarantino movies and his role Star in Wars. every single Avengers film. Despite finding no success until the age of 43, Samuel L. Jackson has Both grossed more than good. any other actor in human history, I, 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 with Robert Downey Jr. Me? being right behind him in rank number two. This is good evidence that success is proportionate to struggle, which is a point often talked about by Oprah Winfrey. She was born to a single teenage mum who was living off no, welfare on a farm life, in Mississippi, a and as a result she was primarily raised by her grandmother, who dressed But if you look at Oprah today, She's not the same, how should I put it, politically, viewpoint, she's not the same, people change, I know that, but she's leaning towards more a radical, left move, I don't know how to say it, compared to the opera of 20, um, 20 years ago, that we, many of us watched on TV, my parents and everybody watched on TV and listened to them, 
compared to the opera of today, they're not the... Brayton stitched the together top. potato sacks and whipped her for reasons as petty as playing with the family's drinking water. You get whipped, and then they'd be annoyed that you were still sulking about it. You better wipe that frown off your face. Yes. It's therefore yeah, no that, surprise that Oprah had run away from home at the age of 13, although this would lead to her first job as a part-time news reporter, which she was then fired from shortly thereafter. I only came to co-host a talk show because I had failed at news. With nowhere else to go, Oprah joined one of Chicago's lowest-rated TV shows, which then became the city's highest-rated talk show less than two months later, thanks to her thanks presence. Her. her contribution was so important, the show was not only named after her, but would also oh, become the most popular show. talk show in American history only two years later. In 2003, at yeah. the age of 49, Oprah ranked as one of the world's 500 richest people, also becoming the first black billionaire in human history. And while that's a redemption almost impossible to yeah, top, Fergie might come close. Despite graduating from high school as a straight A student, Fergie began using crystal meth every day at the age of 26, Ooh. causing her to drop down and Crystal meth. Now, is it good for we just jump to crystal? I know crystal meth destroys your teeth. I from what I heard, they say it destroys the gums and the teeth. That I think is so toxic that if it can damage your enamels, you know it's just your insides. If something can damage your teeth, the enamels, what the fuck is going to do to your inside, your liver and the dog even... Man, come 90 on. pounds or 40 kilos stating, The drugs thing, it was a hell of a lot of fun until it wasn't, given she experienced psychosis, dementia, and even hallucinations on a daily basis. I started getting really paranoid. I went one day into this church, and I thought I, I, that I the FBI and the SWAT teams mm -hmm. were outside of the church. Although this episode Maybe in the church also happened something. to be her turning point. And I said, if I go out there and the FBI and the SWAT team's not out there, then it's the drugs and I'm stopping. So obviously I, I went outside of the church and there was no SWAT team. Did you keep your promise? I kept my promise. Yeah. That was it. That was it. Fergie kicked her meth addiction in 2002, uh, just months before joining the Black Eyed Peas, where she'd find unbelievable Damn. success with Where Is The Love only one year later. Fergie has since had a child, built a net worth of 45 million, and is almost 22 years clean. But while Fergie had to wean herself off only one drug, Drew Barrymore had to do so with many. Despite Whoa. coming from I an extremely so. famous Hollywood family and landing one of the lead roles in E.T. at the age of seven, Drew really Barrymore wrong. was an alcoholic by age 11, a drug addict by age 12, Spielberg, put in a mental institution at age 13, and was legally divorced from her parents by her 14th birthday. She was therefore blacklisted from Hollywood at age 15, was cleaning toilets to make ends meet at 16, and by her 27th she birthday she'd been married and divorced twice. Addiction had always been a major family problem. Almost all of her ancestors were alcoholics. And would even lead to her doing a nude Playboy shoot in 1995, which would actually become a significant turning point. Steven Spielberg just so happened to be her godfather and would send Drew Barrymore a blanket for her 20th birthday, attaching a letter with the message cover yourself up, also including the original Playboy images, which were altered to make her look fully clothed. From here, she made the choice to return to Hollywood, appearing in minor roles until her casting in The Wedding Singer roughly three years later. This then turned into 50 First Dates and Charlie's Angels, making her one of the world's most well-known actresses, just like Lindsay Lohan, although for a slightly different Reason. Yeah, I don't and listen. To me, Lindsay Lohan story. What got her clean? I won't lie, is the Middle East. She went to a country that just grounded her. No paparazzi, no alcohol. She could still get alcohol, but everything was limited. That limit, that limited factor helped her. That's what I know about Lindsay Lohan story. Nothing else. Middle East, I think. Which country? Dubai, Bahrain. Crap gave her oh, worldwide fame that. at the age of only 12, and by her 20th birthday, she'd acted in over 30 productions. However, it'd be during one of these movies called Georgia Rule that a letter was leaked implying that Lindsay's life was spiralling out of control. It read, Dear Lindsay, you have frequently failed <laughs> to arrive TMZ on time to the set. Will for, Today you did like not show for this like I am now told you don't plan to come to work tomorrow because you are not feeling well. We are well aware that your ongoing all-night heavy partying is the real reason reason for your so-called exhaustion. We refuse to accept bogus excuses for your behavior. Today, your actions on Georgia Rule have been discourteous, irresponsible, and unprofessional. You have acted like a spoiled child and in Bad doing so have alienated Bad many deal. of your co-workers and endangered the Bad quality deal. of this picture. Moreover, your actions have resulted in hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage. We will not tolerate wow. these actions any further. The producer who yeah. sent this letter later stated she came to work every day after that. However, Lindsay's personal problems were only getting getting started. Like Just 
once after the letter went public, Lindsay checked herself into rehab for the first time, although this didn't seem to make much difference, as she was then arrested for driving under the influence. Over the following six on, years, man. Lindsay was arrested a total of six different times while she'd state, it is clear man, to me that my life shops. has become completely unmanageable because I'm addicted to alcohol and drugs. As a result, she'd Come lose on, contact man. with her family and attend court-ordered rehab a total of six times, while almost every movie she was cast in during this period was a complete and utter flop. To me, one of our best movies, wasn't it? Parent Trap. Now, to me, one of our best movies? Mingyos. Man, she killed it in Mingyos. Then, Heavy Fully Loaded. I enjoyed that movie. So, that was one of my best movies. Or, uh, there's one, one other one that she swapped luck. That they swapped luck with. You know that? She swapped luck with someone. That she was lucky. I guess she now lost her luck to her. <sighs> Why am I taking off? I don't know. I'm taking off another actress that passed away a long time ago. Brittany Murphy. I think that was her name. She passed away. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm talking about. But as the negativity began to stack up, so did Lindsay's desire oh, to get well, so far. Was it over a period of time or all of a sudden that maybe I do have a problem? Over a period of time. And in 2014, she chose to document the process in an eight-part series with Oprah. My main objective is, you know, to maintain my sobriety. And have you been sober since yes, we last I have. met? Yeah. Yeah. The show was given awful reviews. However, Lindsay Lohan was finally back on the straight and narrow. She'd moved to Dubai that very same year because there's a certain calmness that I find in Dubai. There's no paparazzi, yeah. no cameras, Dubai. that's a big Just deal for me. Not Dubai. to mention the strict culture has helped her to stay sober. You don't There's see people going to liquor stores and drinking and that kind of thing. You can go out and have fun, but it's a different kind of fun that you have. Lindsay has since fixed the relationship with her parents, go, gotten married, had a child, drive, and even mm, returned to scuba the big screen. But while Lindsay's dark period could have likely been avoided, Liam Neeson's was tragically thrown upon him. Whoa. Having found success with every type of movie you can think of, Liam Neeson and his family had seemingly the perfect life. However, uh, on the 18th of March 2009, all of this changed unexpectedly. Liam Neeson's wife, Natasha. Okay, so why I didn't know where I knew Liam Neeson from was from Tekken. Well, later when I started watching, and I thought I was actually in Star Trek. Like, you start remembering other movies you've seen him in the past. But apart from that, I can't. Richardson was taking a beginner ski class in Canada when she fell and hit her head. The fall wasn't bad enough for her to ask for medical attention, so she'd simply return to her hotel room and tell always, Neeson she'd taken a tumble in the snow. Well, it turns right, out doesn't. her brain had been bleeding the entire time, and after experiencing a Man. splitting headache, she was rushed to the hospital and pronounced dead shortly thereafter. Neeson's final words to his wife were, Sweetie, you're not coming back from this. You've banged your head. It's, I don't know if you can hear me, but that's, this is what's gone down. While one of their son stated, it was so sudden. When it's unexpected and it's just a complete freak accident, it really sort of messes with your mind whether you believe in fate or not. She was a terrific, terrific mother. Neeson never remarried after the incident. However, he and his son played the two main roles in a movie called Made in Italy, the synopsis of which being almost else. identical to what they'd gone through in real life. Liam Neeson notably states in the oh, movie, yeah. Disappointment is an absolute certainty. Everyone lets everyone down at some point. How you come back from that? That's romance. With this redemption only being rivaled by Macaulay Culkin. After starring in Home Alone at the age of only 10, so Macaulay Culkin became the was world's most famous the child time. star. He continued he's to appear to in someone. movies for another four years before choosing to retire at the age of 14 year. so he could live a normal Good life. Yeah. Culkin Good was described by co-star Joe Pesci as being a really sweet kid and even at his age, very professional. He brings Good an Good incredibly best. mature yeah. perspective to everything he does, in spite of being very young. However, as Colkin became someone an adult, happy. there's someone that I'm very, very happy that I skipped many of all these shit that would have gone down with very dark parts of Justin Bieber. Man, he escaped like big time. He has kept all this time and like getting married to Haley was one of the best things he did. Forget him and the Selena, him Haley was one of the best things he did because that thing pushed him to escape many of all these man. It'd go through well, many periods bad. of turbulence. For starters, Macaulay Culkin's success ruined the relationship he had with his father. Everything that he tried to do in his life, like I excelled at, like before, was, before I was ten years old. While his earnings of twenty-three point five million before his fifteenth birthday also caused his parents' divorce in that very same year. But as the money pours in, the Culkin family falls apart. In the process, Macaulay began to experiment. I wanted to like drink forties and like yeah. you know get laid and smoke pot. Like yeah. you know, that's what I wanted to do. 
And that's what I did. And in 2004, he was arrested and, and briefly went, jailed for possession of weed. The Home Alone star, 24, yeah. was given one year deferred sentences on each of the charges in order to pay $540 in fees. Sorry. What the first um, sentence means they are not charged, right? Deferment means they are like. Most like why are you deferring it? Deferring it to when? Is it like you will still come back to prison or something? I don't like what's the deferment? I know deferment is like postponed charge or something, but but if you are postponed, you have to postpone to a particular period or something. I don't was is it that if you commit something again, the deferred charge will not be applied then. To which the tabloid know, like press what? took this photo and accused Macaulay of taking even harder drugs. He'd respond Damn. by stating, no, I was not pounding six grand of heroin every month or whatever. Although at the same time, he would talk about drugs by stating, I do love them, they're like old friends. But sometimes you outgrow your friends and it's therefore no surprise that Colkin has since gotten sober. I wouldn't be the person I am today if I hadn't had drugs in my life at some point or another. I had some illuminating experiences, but it's also effing stupid. So besides the occasional muscle relax, are, no, I don't do drugs recreationally. You're remarkably normal. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know people are always struck at how normal I am. I'm like, just like, wow, really? I like, think my my you've reputation made it through the maze. I of guess being so. a famous child. Yeah, yeah. Macaulay Culkin recently had a baby, and is these <laughs> days usually. This lady I'm talking about. That one of the best. I don't know. Is there a correlation between many really celebrities? The person they choose to settle down with, you settle down with your right person, helps you. Even Lindsay Lohan, same thing. She's married to one Middle Eastern, Dubai based, some private or so. I don't know. And I, didn't, I didn't really check on my business. But that person helped ground her. Many of the person you're married to, or the person you find in your relationship, the person in your life can help you. Very, very, can help you in a very, very big way. The right person, because the wrong person can ruin you, man. The wrong person can. F oh, okay. I'm still recording. Peace out. Yes. This this is on Sony Vitri. I don't remember.